Hi, my name is Mrinalni from Informatica Support. I will be explaining exception record management for data quality. Agenda The outcome of exception management process is to clean up any database table of bad records. The output of the exception management process should be clean database table that can be sourced directly into the ETL flow and expected to be of high data quality. This involves few steps, exception management process flow, exception management analysis, and viewing the audit trail. In the exception management process overflow, to perform exception management for bad records or duplicate records, use the developer tool and the analysis tool. In the developer tool, we'll be creating a mapping and to analyze the exceptions for the source table. So I'll be taking you to developer client first. This is a developer client. Here we'll be analyzing the customer's data and see what kind of exceptions can be found and we'll have the records which end up in exception in the bad table. So first let's look at the data for the customers. We have customer data and mm, for example in this mapping I'll be looking for all the records which have null in the state column. So first I would go ahead and create an expression transformation where this column is null state. I would give a score if it is true of 10, if it is false of 90. So when I say false, the state has been populated with some data. In the exception and create an exception transformation by say add transformation and choose exception here. In the exception transformation we have the thresholds 10 and 70. I will explain what it means. So the control port is the state uh, which is looking for the quality issues on the state. We are looking for analyzing any quality issue on the column state. And I want uh, bad records between the thresholds which I mean lower threshold and upper threshold. So the control here is the score which I have derived from the expression transformation um, by populating 10 or 70, 90 sorry and moving that value for from the port to the score column. Yeah. So mm, depending on what the value of the score I would be populating the bad table. When I run this mapping the bad table is populated. So I would run the mapping and populate the bad tables. The bad tables are would be created during the run from the data integration service in the staging database using the name you specify in the exception transformation. The exception transformation writes exception records to this table. Now going to the next part which should be the analysis tool to perform the following task. In the analysis tool this exception table has to be imported and I need to review the rows which have got into the exception tables and then analyze the data. So now I would need to take you to the analysis This is the analysis tool and I need to import the exception table as a data quality table. As a new data quality table and this, is, this exception is for bad records. Then I would select my connection to the staging database. and look for the bad table which is named as same as in the exception transformation
now I would look at the records which are in the bad table The execution took a while because of the number of rows like 415 went into the exception table and we see like these are the rows where the state is null. Now we can do a lot of things with this exception tables in the analysis tool. We can edit the column, update the mm, column for this row and accept and say you want to accept this record in the market for acceptancy so first if you would like to edit this row you can set it to edit from New York you can say state is New York and then say you would like to accept this data once you accept this data, it will be marked for accepted and there is also a tab called audit trail which t audits all the activity on this exception table, shows like what has been done um, in the audit ta tra table, like what are the activities, what are the changes uh, for these records. So as shown uh, in the audit trail uh, analysis tool, the audit trail tracks the changes to the staging database. Using the audit trail, we can review the status of the records that are passed through the record management. We cannot directly use the bad records table itself as a source in the ETL flow. Once we say like we have accepted the records, we cannot just use this record uh, bad table and source it. Mm, then we need to create a separate process to copy this mm, updated records into the actual source table from the status code. So I set one record to accepted, so it would have a record status as accepted. So depending on the business logic you want to add only the accepted records into the source table as the clean source ETL table mm, uh, you want to reprocess it depending on whatever the status a business analyst can decide what needs to be done on this exception table is also referred as human task sometimes in summary we have a lot of KB articles so as described how to use this exception table in the source table there is a KB article how to update records edited in the exception transformation bad record table to the source table and uh, we have many other KB articles for exception table management so we'd like to hear back from you Please email us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at infosupport. Thank you.